Morning guys, so it's like 5.30 in the morning, still dark, beautiful morning. I'm meeting my brother down at Brighton Beach on the bluff. Um, yeah, we're going to see what pictures we can get, some footage. It's going to be epic. Hey guys, I'm down here at Brighton Beach on the bluff here. I got here at about six o'clock, sunrise. What a beautiful morning. We've got some beautiful pictures, some nice footage. The footage you just saw was from this morning. I'll put up some pictures now now. I know I said I was gonna meet my brother here, but I think work called him out. He was on standby, so he didn't end up making it. So I was on my ace here this morning, which was nice. The beach was quiet, nobody around, except a few fishermen, always fishermen. Hey guys, you know, something I want to talk about today is finding the time to do things that make you happy, things that you're passionate about. We know how hard it is to find the time to do things now, especially with family, work, and to take that bit of time out just for yourself to go do something that makes you happy, something you love, something that just completes you. Like this morning, getting up that extra two hours, okay, maybe a lot earlier than what I normally get up, but to get up that bit earlier, take a drive down here to the beach and get those beautiful pictures. The sunrise here on the beach is absolutely amazing. It's like nothing you've seen before and it's worth it. It just, it just makes you feel like you're ready for your day, just ready to get going. But I'll probably end up taking a nap this afternoon to catch up on the sleep I missed this morning. Like I said guys, I was really hoping my brother would be here today so we could have a chat to him. You know, he's a perfect example of someone who takes the time out to do the things that he loves you know with work and now he's got a child married he still makes time to do the things that he loves that's what i wanted to talk about today is making time for yourself making time to do the things that you love that you're passionate about don't let the rat race of today's world stop you from doing the things that you love that you enjoy make the time make the efforts get out there do what you love. Right guys, sun's a bit too harsh now to do anything here at the beach. I'm going to pack it up and head off home. Let's head off. Oh yeah, and another thing. Michael, if you're watching this, thanks for dropping me. <laughs> Kidding. Love you lots, brother. Hey guys, what an amazing time this morning I had on the beach. Brighton Beach is one of the most beautiful spots in Durban. All the rock pools, the tidal pool, my timing was perfect. I got there just as the sun was coming up over the horizon. As you can see in the footage, it, it just came out beautifully. I was just a bit upset, I forgot to take my stabilizer down, so the footage was a bit shaky at times. But nonetheless, I got some really nice footage. So one of the reasons I went down is because I always wanted a long exposure shot of the tidal pool. So as the water is coming around the pool, it will give it that milky effect. But not having an ND filter, I have to go there very early while it's still dark. If there's too much light, you're not going to be able to have the shutter open long enough to capture enough to make that image. So by the time I got there, the sun was already coming up. I could only have it open for maximum a second. So I managed to get a shot of the tidal pool with a bit of movement in the water, not as much as I hoped, but it was still good. Yeah, let me show you guys. So as you can see, there's only a little bit of movement in the water, 
but the pool in the middle came out perfectly. There were a lot of light posts which I took out to give it more focus on the pool. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it was a good shot. So this is my wife's favorite shot. I stood at the beginning of the walkway heading towards the pool and took the shot leading down to the pool. And as you see the leading lines, gives it a very symmetrical look. So I was very happy with that one. I think it came out very nicely, especially with the sunrise in the back. This was another image I shot, which I stood at the top of the stairway leading down to the beach. So it also has those leading lines. I like the colors in this one. I like the way it came out. You could see it was that whole beach vibe. And then I went right down to the water's edge and I put my camera right down close to the sand. Opened my lens right up to 10 mil and I took this very wide shot of the water as it's coming up the beach. That whole warped effect and the sunrise coming up in the background, that just came out beautifully. So I really enjoyed that shoot, going down early in the morning as the sun was coming up. Like I said, I could have been there 15 minutes earlier, I could have got a longer exposure on the tidal pool, but overall I was very happy with it. So yeah guys, like I said, you have to enjoy life. You've got to make time for those things that make you happy, those things that you're passionate about, and have fun doing it. Don't take life so seriously. Yes, we know life is hard. We have to work. We've got bills to pay. But enjoy life. We only have one life. Live it to the fullest. And remember, have fun. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was episode two of my vlog. And again, to the guys that are reaching out to me, thank you so much. And remember, enjoy life. Have fun. See you next time.